What's up guys? Welcome back. Got what I was gonna say. What's up guys? Welcome back to Frosted Gaming or Frosted Tech if you're watching on Frosted Tech. Um, basically this video is gonna show you how to overclock your graphics card and basically pretty much any graphics card out there is overclockable. Now the easiest way to do this, I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna transition to the computer here in a second, but now the best way to do this is make sure that you don't have a reference card. If you have a reference card, you can't overclock as much as say a non-reference card that has a different cooler on it or whatnot, such as Nvidia, they only have the one uh, fan on the end of the card over top the GPU. Now on non-reference cards, they have a better PCB, or not a PCB, but they have a better uh, cooling system, maybe with two, sometimes even three fans. I've even seen cards with four fans on them, which I think is a little bit ridiculous. They're even selling cards that are, have all-in-one cooling on them now. So basically, you just take your pick and what you want, and uh, if it's uh, I'd say later, later-ish graphics card, anywhere from a 5000 series and above, or an NVIDIA 500 series or 400 series and above, these cards are pretty overclockable. If you guys are, say you're playing Witcher 3 and you're only getting 25 frames per second and you want to bump it up to like 30, 35, you know, make it, make it a more enjoyable experience for you. I'm going to show you how to do that, so stay tuned to the video. We're going to transition over to the computer right now, and I'll show you some of the programs that I use and what you need to do. Okay guys, so we're here in MSI Afterburner. You can also use Asus GPU Tweak, which I'll put on the screen right here for you. Uh, Asus GPU Tweak, I think they're on version 2 or 3 right now. You can, I, I believe it's two, but anyways, I've used Asus GPU Tweak before, and it look, seems like MSI Afterburner offers just a just a tish more on the tweakability side. So, and no, I'm not talking about tweakers. Um, so, as far as settings go, make sure you guys pay attention to forums and see what people are saying, uh, what they're getting out of their cards, what their settings are and just kind of read up on it a little bit before you j just jump into this. Um, as far as clockability goes, you want your power limit to be at about 100. I mean, you can put it at 110% if you want to, but that's also going to raise your temp limit. You do not want that. So if I put this at 110 and hit enter, my temp limit's going to be 91. I don't want that. I want my temp limit to be about 85. So we can adjust for about 102 power limit. I don't know why well, let's let the priority. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. So we can switch the priority back and forth. Um, as far as, nope, 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 link them together. No, oh yes, we can unlink it, sweet. Um, guys, I'm still learning this as well. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave mine at about 82 and then put this at about 85. And then we'll just link them back together. So as far as core clock goes, I run mine at a plus 150. You can type that in here or, and just hit enter, or, and then the memory clock, I run that at about 130 plus. And for fan speed, you can just come down to settings down here and just kind of set this yourself and just come over here to fan. And now this, again, this is an MSI afterburner. Now at 30 degrees, I want my fans to be at 50% which is just above idle. So once it starts doing some work, I want them to kick them up to 50%. Before that, the fans are gonna kind of be running at 50% all the time. And then when they get right about here, say about 20 degrees or so, my fans are non-existent. They don't even run. So even if I'm watching like a YouTube video or something like that. Now at 70 or 45 degrees, I want them to be running at 70. Now, when you guys first open this, the curve is gonna be somewhat like this and that's not very good. They want your fans to be at 100% at say 75, 80 degrees, but the temperature on a GPU can catch up with itself really quick. So once you're overclocked and you have all these settings back here set, you want this one and then say, well, whoops, I accidentally just switched that a little bit. Let's go ahead and go, okay, we're back. So at 60 degrees, I want my fans to be at 90%. And at 65 degrees, I want my fans to be at 100%. So it's ahead of the curve. So once the temperature gets to 65, I know my maximum is 85 degrees. But when I set it at 65 and 
then that means that the fans are going to be cooling the GPU. It'll probably that means it'll reach maybe 70, 72. It'll never reach that 85 degree unless I bump up the voltage just completely something insane. So as far as the settings go, once you have everything um, set, go ahead and get into a game. The difference between this and GPU tweak, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I didn't see a uh, benchmark on here, but on G Asus GPU tweak, you can benchmark it and ha run it through a stress test. And if you start getting some a um, artifacting, now I have to run my, uh, just a side note, I have to run my core clock a little bit lower because I run three screens, three 1080p screens. So if you're just running one screen, you should be able to get a little bit higher than what I've got here. Now run a game as, uh, as hard as you can and just go crazy with it on your PC and just open up Steam, just run a game and full settings or whatnot. If you start getting artifacting, say you start getting like white specks everywhere, you know, that kind of show up and it, it'll show up like these blue lines that I'm doing on the screen right now. You'll start seeing artifacting. Your pixels will start dying. Um, not for good, obviously, but if something like that starts happening, just come back into here, turn your power limit down just a little bit, and say down to like 100%, and then your core clock, turn that down by about 10. So just type in like 140 and hit enter and go do the same test. I'm going to put mine back at 150, obviously. So if you guys want to push for like 170, 175, and then uh, your memory clock, also lower your memory clock just a little bit. So basically, one just keep backing down from the artifacting when it stops doing artifacting. So run the most intensive game you have and just see what you got, what you end up with. So as far as, what the hell's going on there? Why did it do that? Let's run that. Ah, it's just bumping it down anyway, whatever. So once you're done with all that, come down here and hit save and to which profile you'd like. So I save it on profile one. That's going to be my gaming save profile, recording, whatnot. So my GPU is running a little bit hot right now, or not hot. It's actually 39 degrees Celsius is really, really good for running at the clock speed that it's running right now. I have not hit my boost clock yet, and I've been running games on a 980 Ti GeForce. I've been running games, and I have really good cooling in my in my case. Make sure you also have really good uh, fan control in your case as well, uh, enough fans to keep the card cool as long as, as well as the card fans keeping themselves cool. So basically, we're going to transition to the end of the video here, and uh, I hope this helped you guys. So make sure you go down, click the subscribe button. And uh, we'll go to the outro here. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's get this video to 100 likes, and I will do the CPU overclock guide for you guys. If you guys want to know how to overclock your CPU, if your CPU is overclockable, um, it all depends on your motherboard and your CPU. So if you guys want to see the CPU guide on how to overclock, make sure you smack the crap out of that like button. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Once we reach 100 likes, I will release the how to overclock your CPU guide, and basically how to do it safely. So um, I run it through the motherboard programs or whatnot, but um, I've already overclocked my i7-6700K Skylake up to 5.2 gigahertz. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to see that, make sure you hit that like button. Also leave a comment down below what you thought of this video, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay frosty.